Okay? Thank you. A friend of mine took his six-year-old daughter to see the Nutcracker. Uh, first time she'd seen a ballet. Might have been the first time she's been in the theater, for all I know. Soon as the performers came out and she saw that there was dancing happening on stage, she's dancing in the aisle. Didn't sit down for the whole performance. When it was over, Daddy, 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 that's what I want to do. So my friend says, oh, that's great, sweetie. Well, we'll sign you up for ballet lessons. And they'll teach you the steps, and you'll practice, and you'll work real hard. And then when you're older, and she says, no, I don't want to do any of that. I want to do that. <laughs> so it's cute when a six-year-old does it, right? But you and I do it. We see something that we, well, that's attractive, and we say, oh, I want to do that. And somebody else says, well, you know, there's all this other stuff over here that you've got to do in order to get there. And we say, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. I want to do that. <laughs> and whether, whether it's dancing with a nutcracker, singing with a band, playing with the Knicks, they make it look easy. It looks like the most fun in the world. It's prestigious. It's glamorous. And this stuff over here, well, that kind of looks like work, right? It's boring. It's mundane. It's hard. We don't want to do that. Now, in, when it comes to playing music, this stuff over here, that's performance. This stuff over here, that's practicing. And I'm going to say the best part of playing music, by far, is practicing. Now, I get a lot of blank looks when I say this. <laughs> So I have to tell you what I mean by practicing. And step one, if you remember anything about practicing from your childhood, forget it. That's not what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, a lot of us remember practicing as boring, drudgery, torture. I knew someone, and she was a music teacher. She told me her mother had tied her to the piano bench and said, you can practice, you can not practice, you can look out the window, you can cry the whole time, but you're going to sit there for half an hour. <laughs> Other parents, um, they try bribery or coercion. Or they say, well, it should be fun. We've got to make it entertaining. We've got to make it a game. That is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is when those of us who are more or less adults, more or less in charge of our own lives, set out to get better at something. So here's my, my big picture definition of practicing. It's when you decide who you want to be, and then you set about becoming that person. So for example, uh, in 2016, I decided I wanted to be someone who was comfortable singing in public. Um, and I was not comfortable singing in public. But made some changes, did a whole lot of work, um, made some mistakes. And seven years later, I'm a person who's comfortable singing in public. Now, small picture definition, practicing is the day-to-day -day carpentry you have to do in order to build your ability to play. So again, I wanted to learn how to sing. I tried it, not really happy with the results, took some lessons, watched some videos, sang a lot of scales, sang a lot of exercises, 
learned about vocal production, I listened to good singers, I drove nails, I sawed boards, I tried and I failed and I tried and I failed, and eventually I built up the ability to sing comfortably in public. So that's what I'm talking about when I say practicing. It's taking charge of your life and going out and getting better at something. All right. Now I have to talk about what I mean by playing music. So if I say the phrase, playing music, what do you think of? Most people will think of some kind of performance over here. And then they make the mistake that my friend's daughter made and they think that's the whole thing. But it's not. That's just part of playing music. That's the shiny part of playing music. Practicing over here, that's the dirty hands part, but there's not two different things. They're two parts of the same thing. It's like the two ends of a spoon, and they don't make any sense separately. They only make sense together. All right, now we can return to the question of the day, which is why do I say that practicing is the best part of playing music? Why do I say practicing is better than performing? Why do I get so excited when I talk about practicing? Well, the first thing I want to say is that performing is great. Uh, it's like nothing else in the world. It doesn't happen that often. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in performance, and some of it has to do with the music. And some of it has to do with the performer. And the rest of it is all about somebody else. There's the audience, right? There's the composer, there's the promoter, there's the organizer of the event, there may be other musicians, there may be an orchestra, a band, a choir. Uh, there's the sound man who's on his phone instead of adjusting my microphone. <laughs> there are the people in the front row talking while I'm trying to sing my song. In practicing, there's still a lot going on, but I'm the only one there. It's all about me and what I need and I'm in charge, right? So, what music do I want to play? How am I going to play it? What do I need to learn? What am I trying to accomplish? That thing I just played, was that good enough or not? How do I know? How do I get better? How good can I get? All this stuff is on me, and nobody else cares. Nobody cares about my practicing except me. That's enormously liberating. Performance is about one small, special, but very artificial moment. Practicing is about every day for the rest of my life. That's how it works. As long as I'm interested in playing music, I'm going to practice every day. And every day forever is how it works. That's another definition of practicing every day forever. Performance is presenting music, practicing is being consumed by music. Practicing is where you're going to find everything out. Everything you want to know about playing music, you will find in practicing. And you can go as deep as you want to go. You can look over Beethoven's shoulder all day long, he will not chase you away. Practicing is wizard school. Arthur C. Clarke said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. The same thing is true of music. People who don't play or sing, they look at playing and singing as magical. Practicing is where you learn to do the magic. Now, music is the thing that gets most deeply under my skin and practicing, my practicing, is me spending as much time and attention and energy on that as I can. It's got nothing to do with entertainment. It's got nothing to do with fun. It's about accomplishment. It's about pride. It's about satisfaction. It's about growth. It's about more than growth. It's about expansion, exploration. And it's about creating art. Practicing is Superman's 
phone booth. I go in as Clark Kent, and I come out as Superman. I go in as somebody who can't, and I come out as somebody who can. I go in as the person I am, and I come out as the person I want to be. It takes a long time, but it's worth it. And that's why I say the best part of playing music is practicing.